Um, and in our catalog is a very special lady, uh, and you'll recognize her, and that is our Ellen Lewis. And I love, love, love what she has to say in the catalog. So make sure you find that catalog. She's also featured in our new Get Started Guide. And how exciting is that, that she's not only in the new catalog, but also in the Get Started Guide. So we are so proud of you, Ellen, for that. And you'll see um, the Get Started Guide online. I did post it online. Um, and right now we're going to take it away to Ellen and she's going to start sharing with us some great things and knowledge that you need to know for our training uh, tonight on our Tech Talk. Okay, so take it away, Ellen. Awesome. All right. So um, I'm going to talk to you just for a couple of minutes about um, your Facebook, right? Um, about your Facebook. I'm also going to address that issue that was earlier today and a workaround for that. Um, thank you for whoever just spotlighted me. I totally forgot. <laughs> um, so, uh, so first things first, I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through my Facebook profile and just show you some of the things that I do for my Facebook profile. Um, now these are just suggestions. You can do whatever it is that you want, but I want my Facebook profile to be public so I can attract as many people as possible and people can find me, right? But I also want to protect my privacy, right? I don't want to be showing up at my house and being all creepy. So I, so I went through and I adjusted all my settings and I really encourage, um, I really encourage all of you to look at your settings kind of regularly because sometimes when apps and things like that, they do updates, they change your settings, right? We've all experienced that actually on Facebook when, um, I don't know, a couple of years ago, they changed all of the settings in all of the groups to um, only notify like um, popular comments or popular po like things instead of all the comments and get all the notifications. So you had to go in and actually change that, right? So it's important to look at your settings from time to time. I actually, when I was getting ready for this, I actually went through and changed a couple more things in my settings, right? So it's important to just kind of take a look at that and make sure that you're good. Now, what I did to figure out what settings I wanted for mine um, was I have a friend, her name's Tabitha Brinkman, and she does a lot of stuff on TikTok and she does a lot of reels. And so she's constantly attracting, attracting people to her Facebook that she doesn't know in real life. So she wanted her privacy settings to be pretty high but well, I mean, she has a public profile, but she wanted to make sure that all of her personal information was kind of washed from her public um, profile. And so I kind of just modeled it after her. So, um, so what you can do is if you are kind of like confused about what to do, you could pull up my profile or you could pull up her profile. And um, so even if you, you don't have, so say you don't have um, a laptop and a phone, right? Um, you can do it a couple different ways. Actually, I need to unplug this. Um, you can do it a couple different ways. So, so what I would recommend is having two devices, whatever it is. If you have an iPad and your phone, have something, one of the, the, the profiles pulled up on your iPad and then be working off of your phone or vice versa. Um, or even if you don't have an iPad and you don't have a laptop and all you got to have is a phone, you can um, borrow somebody's, right? Somebody that you're friends with on Facebook and you can just kind of look at theirs, look at their, uh, like have them find me or whatever. And so you have my profile there and you're looking and you can make your adjustments. All right. So um, I just hold on I get all wonky when I get to share my screen all right so um so let me get just go to my uh, there we go all right so this is my profile so if you any of you are friends with me you go to my profile and if you're not friends with me you can follow me you can be friends with me so that you can see all of this um but it is public so anybody can be able to see it right so this is my profile. And if you look, um, so these are just like, the, this is my regular profile. This is all of my stuff. Um, and so it doesn't have a ton of stuff here, right? I don't have like a lot of information there. And if you go to my about page, I don't have my high school listed. I don't have my college listed, my current city, my hometown. I don't have any of that stuff listed because I don't want people to be able to like look up stuff like that, right? Um, and then even some of the stuff in here, I have some stuff um like but like I have my you always want your workplace to be um your uh Facebook uh, either group or public page right that's what you want it to be don't say you work at Tupperware right because that's going to send them to Tupperware.com it's not going to send them to you so you want to make sure to link that um and then again places I've lived nobody needs to know any of that stuff if you 
my champions want to know, you can ask me anytime all the places I've lived, but nobody in basic land needs to know any of that. And basic information, right? And I have some of this stuff hidden, right? I have, um, yeah, so I, I mean, I have my birthday because I kind of like getting birthday notifications, just so you know, and birthday's in three days, just saying. So, <laughs> um, so I do have that listed on there, but like all my privacy stuff, right? So you want to just kind of go through all of that. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to move everybody's faces are covering my thing, um, is if you go to um, your profile and you, this is the settings, this is kind of where you kind of want to also look at these things from time to time, because this is where sometimes things can get changed when they do updates. If you go to settings um, and go on into settings, I keep having to move you guys back and forth. All right. Um, so over here under password and security, right? You want to click on this. And yours might look a little different because mine's a public profile. So yours might look slightly different. But if it is, don't freak out about it. You can always Google this and be like, how do I do this on my Facebook and find videos? And again, that's where it helps. Even if you don't have a device and a laptop and a dev or two devices, borrow somebody's, right? Borrow your significant others and watch a YouTube video as you're doing it at the same time. That's what I do. That's how I learn things. So when people ask me, how do you do this? A lot of times I don't remember because once I do it, I'm done. Like I, I set it up and now I don't have to think about it. Right. Um, but that's how I do it. So if you go in here and go to password and security, you want to make sure you turn on this two factor authentication, authentication. <laughs> That was a tough one. All right. And you just want to make sure it's turned on, right? So it's asking my password. Um, and so right there, it says my two, my two-factor authentication is on. All that is, is all of us have the Tupperware card, right? And we have to have that Authy app in order to get into our Tupperware card. It's the same thing. Any website that offers you two-point auth authentication, you need to do it. They're doing it for a reason. So in my Authy, I have Tupperware. I have um, I have Facebook. I have Instagram. I have PayPal. I have any of the things that I take payments through, anything with sensitive information. I have all of those turned on to protect myself. And, and you always want to make sure that you're, you're careful with that. So the other thing is too, is pay attention to the people messaging you. If somebody messages you and says that need, they need help or they need a code from you or they need something like that, if there's somebody that knows you personally enough that they're going to be asking you for help, be like, sure, text me on my phone, right? And if they're like, I don't know your phone number, you know, just be like, well, I, you know, so-and-so would have known my phone number, you know, or be like, email me or whatever, but come at me from another direction so I know that this is real. And don't be afraid to be like, I'm not sure if this is actually you. How do we know each other or something like that, right? Um, so just so that you don't get scammed because a lot of really smart, great people are that care so much are getting scammed because their friends are asking for help. And, um, and so then they feel kind of silly because they got scammed, but it's not their fault, right? These people are just bad news, right? All right. So the other thing I wanted to share with you is, um, is the reach around for the, um, uh, or the go around for the, uh, the, the problems we were having with the links, right, on Facebook. So anytime you have, if you're working a virtual business and if you're working an in-home business, right, and there's a bump in the road like this, don't freak out, okay? We'll figure it out. Like, you just got to give it a minute, okay? Don't don't freak out. Don't You don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater just because something you've been doing isn't working anymore. There's always another option, right? There's always another direction you can go. And so this is one of them. So you can make a shortened URL and you can do it through bitly.com and it's B-I-T-L-Y. And if you forget that, you can just be like, how do I shorten a URL? Google it, right? And you'll see a video, right? <laughs> That's how I learn everything. You know, go through YouTube University, right? All right. So, um, so over here, I'm just going to hit create new, right? And so I want to do a link. So I want to link, right? So let's go to um, my personal website, right? So my personal website. So I want to create a link to this. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back over to Bitly and I'm going to paste that right there. And then I'm going to put like um, my shopping 
website, right? Well, how did I do that? <laughs> All right, my shopping website, right? And then I'm just going to create it. And it's that simple, right? So I'm going to hit this little create button down here. And there it is, my shopping website. And so right here, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to bring it right up here. And I can send that link anywhere. I can send it through Messenger. I can send it all over the place, right? And I paste it. And then when I click on that, where does it take me? It takes me to my shopping website. Easy peasy. And it's so easy um, to, to do that. Now, that being said, um, with the uh, shortened URL, um, that works great. It's better looking than a long URL for people to find you. Um, and that's a free account. You don't have to set up um, and pay some sort of monthly subscription to that or anything like that, right? Um, and so it's fantastic to be able to use on your business cards. You can create those little links for all of your party links, for, for your website, for, I have them for, um, in my account, I was looking at it earlier. I have one leading straight to my VIP group. I have one leading straight to my um my business page right and so then that way it's not this whole like www.facebook.com forward slash beyond the bowl with ellen blah, blah 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 right and so i can i can create these shorter links to things i want to send them to really quickly um and they're they're common a lot of people use those bitly links you saw my link in my bio on my facebook page is a bitly link because i didn't want some big link going wherever my, it, it leads, right? And so it's really important to be able to do that. So those are just some quick tips for you. Um, but like I said, when things like that happens and Facebook kind of throws us a curveball and takes half of our content down, what's up with that, right? <laughs> just, just take a deep breath and honestly, walk away, walk away from it for just a little bit. And a lot of times it will fix itself. And Facebook, it was a glitch and they're working on it and they're working on it like, um, uh, Scott Kramer was posting about it. And tomorrow, um, Anna Walker is actually going to be posting um, some more information about links and stuff like that. She's going to be going live um, for all the sales force. So, um, so definitely keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. But it's important to just take a deep breath. Don't freak out. We will all figure out together. All right. Whether it's a Facebook thing or maybe it's a a Tupperware website thing, right? You just, <laughs> so just we can, we got it all together. All right. Back to you, Pam. <laughs> 